Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we will talk about Google for India event. Now this event happened in New Delhi on 19th of December and this year I got this opportunity to do, go to that event and in this event they have talked about multiple products, right? Now as the name suggests it's Google for India and they have talked about what they are doing for India. And of course we all know the importance of technology in empowering the people, getting the economic growth and a lot of different things, right? So they have announced multiple things and one thing I want to start with is about the YouTube. That's right, in the Google for India event, it's all, YouTube is also a part of it, right? So there's one interesting thing coming up. Now what is that interesting thing? We use YouTube to watch movies, listen to a music, watching a comedy show or learning a new skill. That's right. In fact, as per YouTube, one out of two Indians are using YouTube to upgrade their skills, right? Now think about this channel. We are pushing a lot of technological videos, right? It can be with programming, uh, technologies like blockchain. So we are here to provide you with that content, right? And of course, a lot of people learn those technologies to upgrade their skills. But there's one particular issue on YouTube when you are learning something new. See, it's very easy to get distracted on YouTube, right? Of course, you're watching a programming video, technological video, you're learning something new. And on the suggestion, you will see different videos, right? Maybe a new music video. And there's a tendency that you will click on that music video because you are getting bored by watching a tutorial, right? Uh, of course, I hope you're not doing that on my videos. But the thing is, what if you can get the structured content? right? Uh, everything in structure format, no distraction. And that's what we do as educators, right? So we publish our videos on YouTube, which is for free. And then we try to create courses on different platform. But YouTube thought, hey, can we just solve this problem? Now YouTube is coming up with YouTube courses. So inside YouTube as well, we have, con there's a concept of YouTube learning. So all the educational videos go there. And inside that, now we have YouTube courses where you can get the courses and everything will be in a structure format. Not just videos, files also. What if you, what if I want to share the coding files with you? What if I want to share some notes with you? That can be done with the help of files. Now all these things are coming up and I'm happy to announce that Telisco is the first tech education channel to do that and uh, thanks for YouTube for this opportunity. Uh, so it is on, so this product is in beta now. It's still not released in India. Uh, it will take early, maybe early 2023, you will get this new product and a lot of different creators who are teachers, they can publish their courses. Now the course we are coming up on Telisco is Java for programmers. So if you, example, let's say if you want to learn and if you already are a programmer, then you don't have to learn Java from basic, right? Because you know what is variable, you know what is array is. You just want to know how that works in Java. So that's the course coming up in early 2023. So just wait for it. Uh, I'm very excited to... Uh, see how you're going to enjoy that course because I loved making it. It's there on YouTube, but the product is not ready yet. It will be coming in next uh, few months. So that's the first announcement. The second one is Google is focusing more on AI. So we know Google, right? They have a lot of AI tools for different purposes. And of course, when we talk about technology, we always talk about how technology can help businesses, how technology can help government. But when it comes to individuals, how technology is helping them. Now, Google has talked about multiple products in this. In fact, I have notes as well. Uh, so let's start with the first one. Now, since we talk about Google for India, right? So let's specify in about India. Now, India, we don't have one language. We have multiple languages, right? And that's why if you see creators, they have channels in different languages. Example, for me, I have channel in English and Hindi. Not everyone is comfortable with English and not everyone is comfortable with Hindi. And that's why we have this mixed channel. Some people have multiple languages channel. So what if as a person, you want to search something in Hindi, right? So normally we have this tendency of typing the text in Hindi, but then the spelling we use in English, right? Uh, one of the examples they have shown is about cheese. Now cheese in English, we have cheese, of course, everyone knows about it. But cheese in Hindi means things, right? So if you want to search about uh, cheese, kis cheese se banta hai? Now this is the example they have given. Now this cheese, the first word is English. The third one is Hindi. So that's how you dif differentiate that. So Google is using AI to differentiate these two things. It's actually a local support which they are providing. Now AI can be used for agriculture and for hospitals as well for healthcare. Example, let's say if you want to find some disease uh, and if you want to do that with the x-rays. See, 
if you are rich, if you can afford a good hospital, that's great. But what if you can't do that? What if you want to get help from the experts in different uh, hospitals and maybe it's not available in your city? So maybe you can upload your, your reports and they will help you with the diagnosis. We all know about prescriptions, right? So let's say if you are an engineer and if you write in a very bad format, which is not readable, people will call you a doctor, right? Because by default, doctor handwriting is not that readable. Maybe they use a secret communication. It's only doctors and pharmacists. They know what they're talking about. As a normal human being, you do, you're not aware. But what if you want to order your medicines online? So of course, on the other hand, the pharmacist has to read manually. What if uh, AI can read the prescriptions? So even Google is working on that front. And of course, they have done multiple announcements. One of the interesting things, I'm a YouTuber. One thing I loved is search in the video. That's right. So example, let's say if you have a very lengthy video, let's say 30 minutes video or two hours video. And sometimes we tend to do that, right? We make the entire course for in two hours. Now, what if you want to search for a particular thing? Of course, we do give you timelines. Sometimes you have a topic inside the topic. What if you want to search for that particular topic? What if you can search for a text in a video? Now that is also coming up and that will be interesting. Apart from this, one of the things which I loved from all of this announcement is allowed. Now what is this allowed? So let's think about this. Let's say if I make a video in English and then if I want to cater to other languages audience, what I have to do is I have to re-record the video with a different audio, of course, right? Or maybe I have to dub it. What if AI can do it for you? Not just one language, multiple languages. So example, let's say if you play a video and that in that you have a choice of switching the language. Just like when you uh, watch a cricket match and then you see different options there, of course, there's a different commentary happening. But if what if AI can generate uh, audio for you? It will be awesome, right? If I make this video in English, you can just go to the set settings and you can change the audio track. The option is not available now, but it will be coming soon. And just by selecting a different language, you will get the audio in that language. Of course, the video will remain same. Uh, I, I hope AI will not change my uh, lip syncing, right? But that will be coming. I hope that will be coming soon. But uh, yeah, you will get the audios. For the example, I'm keeping a link in the description about the allowed. I know I don't know how that channel got this feature, but you will you will find one video where you can switch the languages. Imagine they're getting that in all the videos, irrespective of the language. You will love it. And the most exciting thing about the event is Sundar Pichai was there, and uh, it was great to listen to him face to face. And he talked about different technologies. Now, how AI is going to help the normal people, and also there's one important interesting product which is called Project Relate. Now, see, if you talk about translation, let's say if you are going to a place where you're not familiar with the language. Example, I'm recently shifted to Bangalore. I'm from Mumbai. I don't know Canada. So here, sometimes I feel difficult to communicate with people because they don't understand other languages. Now here, what we can do is we can use Google AI Translate and you can talk and that will convert to a different language. That works for the standard speech. What if you have a non-standard speech. Now, some people, they have they have a difficulty in pronouncing the proper words. In that case, in fact, I will, will put this video in the description as well. And uh, I was blown away with this idea. It will help a lot of different people who have speech problem. So even if they are not able to talk properly, AI will understand what they're trying to say and it will convert that to a normal words. So yeah, all these things are coming up. I'm excited for the next year when this products will be launched. And I'm most excited about the YouTube course and let's see how it goes. I will push more updates on this YouTube course in the coming months and uh, you will get to know how, do, how can you create your own courses on YouTube. Apart from this, there was a separate event for YouTubers and uh, I got to meet with a lot of different, different people, learned a lot from them and it was quite fun event and I hope YouTube will invite for the next event as well. So that's it everyone from this video. Bye-bye.